Right guys, so on your PS Vita, if you haven't done this yet, so I haven't actually done this, you want to go and start up HN Core, uh, just press start, then just click yes, and once you're on this screen, you can actually download and install Vita Shell. So scroll down and it's the third option, just press X to install it. It's then just going to start downloading, then download the eboot.bin, this shouldn't take too long. Now it's just going to start installing the application, just give it a minute. Now it's just going to say success, and now all you want to do is just press X on exit. Here you go guys, we now have Vita Shell installed, and we can go and we can press X to open and start it. And then here you go guys, now we can browse the contents of our PS Vita's files. But the first thing you want to do is just back up to the main menu, just close down Vita Shell for now, go up to your system settings, just press start to open it, go into Hankaku settings and make sure enable unsafe homebrew um, is ticked um, and if you press the question mark it basically means um, sometimes you can install a VPK which might be like a virus or something but we definitely won't be doing that in this video. So we're just going to go back to the main menu. Alright guys, so now Vita Shell is installed, all you want to do is tap it, and then just tap start. And then what we want to do here, so do you want to use Rife? I'm just going to cut no. What we want to do here is just pre press select, and now it's going to say connect this system to a PC using a USB cable. So here's the USB cable, and it's connected to my PC, so I'm just going to plug this in real quick and then you're going to get a message saying USB connected. So now I'm going to go onto my PC and show you guys what files to copy across. Right guys, so once your PS Vita is connected to your PC with the USB mode, as you can see, here is the game in my downloads folder. Now if I right click and go on properties, you can see the size of the game is about two gigabytes. So this is in a backup of an official cartridge. Um, so it's up to you guys where you get your games from. I'm not going to tell you. But anyway, this is an actual backup of a cartridge which is perfectly legal. So once your PS Vita is connected, all you want to do is just drag and drop it to the root of your PS Vita. So here mine is, it's labelled as USB Drive E. As you can see, the game is already on there because it took 5 minutes to copy across. So I made it, copied it across before I started recording. Right guys, so once you're back on your PS Vita and you have disconnected it from your PC using the cable, um, the file that you are looking for is this one right here, UX0, so just press X to go onto it. And if you scroll down right, right to the bottom, you will find your package game. So here mine is, Street Fighter X Tekken release. So all you want to do is just press X on it. It's then going to say, do you want to install this package? Just press X. It's then just going to load for a bit. And then it's then going to say um, this package um, requests extended permissions, that because it's a game. So um, obviously if you didn't get this from a trusted source then it would be dodgy. But because um, I got this from my actual cartridge then I know it's legit. So I'm just going to press yes to install. And now it is going to start installing. So this could take quite a while. Um, I'm not actually sure how long this is going to take, so just leave your PS Vita and obviously wait till it's at um, 100%. Maybe if it's low on battery it's probably a good idea to plug it into the charger. There you go guys, it has finally done, so I'm not actually too sure how long that took, maybe 15-20 minutes, so quite a long time, but these games are quite big in size. So we're just going to back out of this, back out to my home screen real quick. And as you can see, the game is now on the start menu, so all you want to do is press X and then press start just to launch into the game. So we're just going to be testing this game out, making sure it works. Maybe I'll just um, try like a quick match or something. So here I am in a quick game. Now you guys are probably wondering, does online features work? Now I'm not actually too sure because I've got my Wi-Fi turned off. Um, most backed up games um, don't have you know multiplayer options so I'm probably going to say no on that one. But anyway as you can see I'm playing the game at full speed. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, no cartridge or anything like that. This is just a complete backup of my game.
Also guys, before I forget to tell you, if you connect your PS Vita back to your computer, you can actually delete the VPK file because you no longer need it because the game is now installed. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.